What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from Dawson Speak TV and D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the videos on this channel. Much love to those who support this channel by donating. I appreciate it. All that information is in the description box underneath the video. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. All right, thanks for clicking on the video. Now, this video is for educational purposes, and as I approach this topic with respect, I want you all to please, please, please be respectful in my comment section. Thanks. Now, before I get into this story, I want to say that Dawson Speaks TV does not discriminate on the basis of race, color, religion, gender, gender expression, age, national origin, disability, marital status, sexual orientation, military status, or political affiliation. Now, this story comes out of Georgia. Georgia, Georgia's on my mind. That's what the late, great Ray Charles sang. I don't think he was saying about this story, though. But nevertheless, a couple of people sent me this story. But the first person to send me this story was a teacher out of Atlanta. And basically, she told me that this mess has got to stop. It's happening everywhere. And someone has to speak on this. And then I was thinking, hey, why didn't you send the story to other vloggers? And they said, no, Dawson, we want you to speak on it. I said, say no more, I'll take it from here. Jaquez Jones, 38 years old, was considered to be a pillar in the community, a role model to many. Jaquez earned a Bachelor's of Music degree from Augusta State University in 2008 and a Master's in Music Education in 2011. He later earned an additional specialist degree in leadership from Georgia College and State University. His love for music was infectious and everyone knew about it from his family, friends, and even the congregants who enjoyed fellowshipping with him at the Lord's Church. So much so that Jaquez Jones became a popular band director in Rockdale County, having a stellar program where many individuals who participated in the program went on to further their musical careers. Jaquez Jones had many colleagues who admired his work, and many of his fellow musician brothers and sisters would often stop by to offer words of wisdom to those individuals who were participating in his program. And they did this because Jaquez had one of the best programs in the county. Everything in Jaquez's life was going wonderful and seemed to be on the up and up personally and professionally until this happened. While at work, Jaquez Jones was apprehended by officers. Parents and staff that witnessed this were shocked. Rockdale County local news station later reported that the popular band director was apprehended for having inappropriate interactions with a young male. Take a breath. According to investigators, the young male was communicating with the unknown male, later identified as Jaquez Jones on social media. Jaquez Jones allegedly picked him up at his home on February 21st, 2024, and brought him back to Rockdale County to his home. While at Jaquez Jones' home, the band director had inappropriate interactions with him. Jaquez then later took him home afterwards. The young male confided in his mother what happened and investigators identified popular Rockdale band director Jaquez Jones as the man that had inappropriate interactions with him. When this information was aired on the local news station and printed in the newspaper, it shocked everyone that knew Jaquez Jones. The investigation revealed that Jaquez Jones had a perfect public persona, but when he got home, he lived another life. Let me say this. I've been doing YouTube for years and I love it. And I love all of you who like my show, my subscribers, my viewers. I appreciate y'all, even the ones who don't. It's all good with me. I'm here for it. But let me say this. I will never understand how someone can throw it all away. Just throw it all away because you can't control your urges, your livelihood, reputation, all those degrees that you earned and having a great program that was highly esteemed in the state of Georgia. It's over. Jacquez, so many people were rooting for you and your program. So many people admired you as a band director. Even on social media, you always post your accomplishments. And one of the things that you love to do was to attend church. And you have plenty of posts talking about, I'm headed to church or I'm at church. But my question to you is, what did you learn when you were there? And really, that's a question for all of us. What are we learning when we're there?
Now, I know there are some of you who say, well, these parents, they need to keep an eye on these youngins. They need, and I agree with you. You need to keep an eye on the youngins. Get on them, the, the computers, on those electronic devices. Take that phone. See what's going on. But the young people are going to be young people, just like when we were young. And it's always up to the adult to be the adult in every situation. Because the law, the law, not Dawson, I stand with the law. You all know that for years I worked for Department of Children and Families, so I'm going to stand with the law. The law is always going to blame the adult in the situation. There's no way around it. And Jacquez, I don't understand it because you're like 20 to 25 minutes away from Atlanta. Why didn't you just go to Atlanta and find somebody? You're in Atlanta, for God's sakes. Jeez, what happened? Ain't no more men and women in Atlanta. They all gone and left you alone. Please, get out of here. Well, Dawson, you shouldn't tell him to go to Atlanta if I was you. Well, you're not me, and this is my show, and I'm telling him and anybody like him, male or female, to go where grown people reside. And go get some grown people and leave the youngins alone. All right? Now, let me calm down. Calm down, Dawson. You all, I get letters all the time from people sending me stories or asking me to tell their story. And most of the time, these letters come from ministers, leaders in the Lord's church, who say, Dawson, thank you for speaking out and saying what I couldn't say or what I was too afraid to say. And I thank you for that. I really do. I appreciate that. And I want you all to know that as long as you keep watching this YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks, that Dawson will continue to speak and stand up for the victims, the least, the lost, and the left out of our society. You all, there are so many people walking around this world wounded with so much trauma because of things they experienced in their past when they were children. And now they're grown and they're telling their stories. And you can't go and, you know, tell, you know, be quiet, just hush about it. You can't do that to people's feelings and what they've experienced. Why? Because it's going to mess up the family. It's going to mess up the church. Oh, what about the pastor? Oh, don't say that about the prophet. Don't say that about the prophetess. Well, hell, if they are real prophet and prophetess, they should have saw it coming. Ain't that right, prophet? Now, look, here I go. Let me get out of here because y'all know we go from righteousness to ratchetness within seconds. So let me keep moving forward. All right. You all uh, thank you for watching the video. Please like the video, share the video with family and friends. Those who support this channel by donations. I appreciate you. You say, Brother Dawson, you bless me. I'm going to bless you back. I love you. I love you. And I appreciate it. You all until next time. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself and each other. Get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video. Please be respectful. Love y'all. Peace.